You know that saying, just because you have an empty space doesn't mean you need to fill it? Well, uh, I'm going to have to disagree with that because I have an empty space and, well, I just filled it. What you're looking at here is the High Tech Diamonds 6-inch trim saw. Uh, showed up yesterday, so we're going to be kind of going over it a little bit today, making our first cuts, test it out, make sure everything works all, all good. You know, I've already done the assembly. So it does come with some extra stuff, which is really nice. It does come with two blades. Um, they, they say on it that they're intended for different, cutting different material, right? Uh, like this one is for cutting garnet, turquoise, aqua, corundum, emerald, rubies. The red one that I, I have on there right now, which is probably going to be uh, the one that I use the most out of them, they say it's for cutting glass, topaz, quartz, and fine agates. I do have another one coming, the green blade, which uh, that one's, they say it's for slabbing agates. Um, you know, I guess that's really has to do with uh, the hardness of the rock. Um, it comes with a stylish blue apron. Hopefully blue is your color. And uh, let's, we've got the blade guard in here. You can see that is the reservoir for your water or oil. You can run oil or water. I plan on doing water. Um, blade change out seems pretty simple on this. Just uh, unscrew that and you're, you can change your blades out, right? They do have a selection of different different blades. The instructions are pretty good. Um, I like high tech. You know, it's made in America, which is important to me. It should be important to you. If, <laughs> you know, domestic manufacturing and all that good stuff. So you can, I'm gonna run it with the, the, the splash guard. Uh, my main idea behind this is to have something that I can run in the shop through the winter um even though it's tempting to put the oil in it i kind of want want to run it with the water uh i do have the vice for it so this is a vice that i like i like the design of this um this wasn't made super clear on their website but now that i see it it's a really nice feature i like that you can just flip it out of the way right you can do all of your hand cuts flip the vice in have your material clamped and slide it into the into the blade. Uh, there's no water in it right now, but just listen to how quiet it is. That is so, so quiet. Now, if you ran a tile saw, you would know that, well, you should have hearing protection on. A tile saw is incredibly loud. And I have some tile saws. We'll probably, we'll be doing a comparison between this saw and some tile saws in a future video. But for right now, I think I uh, should add some water to this. Uh, over here on the bench, I have some rocks that we're gonna be working on today and do our first cuts. So here is the material that I think would be good to work with. I have some slab moss agate from Utah. We're gonna be doing some trim work on the sides, cut that rough off. I have this piece of agate that came from southwest Washington. Uh, I want to just polish up the face. I like keeping rocks mostly in their rough state to kind of enjoy them and polish windows. So we're going to be uh, using the vise. We're going to cut that face off. I have this slab of serpentine and uh, I'm going to be cutting out that circle. Um, kind of in preparation for a cabochon. Gravel bar hopper, that guy right there, um, sent me a bunch of agates. And this is one of them. And I'm going to be cutting it. And we can examine some of the finishes that we're getting off this tile saw. Uh, I'm not really doing anything with that. But I wanted to show you. So, you know, I have my big oil slab saw. And, you know, you can see my cut here right? And always what happens when I'm cutting something bigger is it breaks off. This is the, the piece that broke off. And you get that little nub right there. So we're going to be trimming that off. Now, it's important to get these off because when you go to your flat lap or whatever, that'll happen. And you'll start to get an uneven plane. So 
Um, in the past, I've had to break out the tile saw, which I'm doing outside because tile saws are loud and wet and, uh, well, not very accurate for this type of stuff. So we're going to be trying some of these different things and we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to go pretty well and uh, load it up. So you're going to fill it up just until they say about an eighth. The blade is in there about an eighth, which that's, uh, that's about an eighth. And that was... Mm, maybe a gallon or so of water. Uh, I already did the adjusting of the blade. You can adjust the center of it. Um, you know, there's a lot of adjustments to this, which is nice. I'm not super familiar with other trim saws, but let's uh, turn it on and see if water flies. Got a little bit. It's just on one. There's two, three... It's between the four and the five, which is about the RPMs that they call for. Getting a little bit of misting, nothing too bad. Uh, it's certainly, I might make a slightly bigger splash guard, but overall, pretty dang good. I guess let's, uh, let's try trimming this. So I just managed to trim off that rough. That worked pretty well. Be interesting to see what the finish is off of this blade. Little scraps. Throw this over off to the side. On to the next stuff. Try this out. Yeah, with that guard up, <laughs> it certainly wants to throw more water. Well, that worked out quite well for getting that little nub off. Let's test out this vise. I'm going to have to do some fiddling with it to get it adjusted. It's not something I <laughs> haven't used it before. Got it all nice and chucked up here in the vise. Same thing with the oil saw that we've talked about in the past. You don't want that blade deflecting. So let's uh, give it a go. Look at this here. Got a little bit of paint from the, the saw blade, but that's normal. A little end cut. And the same thing happens, you know, got that little nubby bit. We'll chop that off. So this agate from Louisiana, I'm going to opt to freehand cut. I was thinking about using the vise, but it's kind of a weird shape, and I want to make sure to get it just right, so we'll try free, free cutting this. I'm going to go through that white fortification there and try to uh, catch some of this banding, I think. Lastly, we're going to be cutting out preform. I like, I like that location of it. Let's see how this goes. Broke off funny. So maybe it's not the best preform, but you could certainly take that to a wheel at this point and get that round. Let's head over to uh, the bench. I will say uh, the finish off of that blade is much nicer than 
the tile saw and we'll be going over some of this stuff in the future here but just it's a fun piece of moss agate uh so i'm not the best at cutting out the preforms but that's close enough right round enough to take it over to a wheel the cutting the the little nub off worked worked really well um flat now no rocking which is cool that means i can take this over to the flat lap and polish this up this is a big piece of seam agate by the way uh that we collected out in a graveyard point so you see that came off the oil saw the agate really nice i'm looking forward to putting a high gloss polish on that piece here's that little end cut of it so cute it's not a video unless i drop something throw that in the scrap bin and then uh probably the best thing here um <laughs> that agate from uh gravel bar hopper is just absolutely let me come around here it is absolutely stunning absolutely an amazing agate a little bit of paint there gorgeous I mean, it is nice on the outside and it's um uh, I'm, I'm surprised surprised by it so i'll be looking forward to polishing that up as well My initial thoughts after doing some cutting on it is that it is significantly better than my tile saw. Uh, it beats it in a lot of different ways. There's a couple of things that I need to take into consideration though, and that is the water versus oil. Now, as I film this, we're coming into October almost. Well, October's around the bend. We're already having nights out here that are in the 40s so consistent freezing weather is a very real thing now significantly cleaner than the tile saw there's no water everywhere like you would get with a tile saw uh, to the point where you shouldn't you know, you're not running a tile saw in indoors I, I seriously doubt that uh, if you do you have a full enclosure of tarps basically so it's very nice that I can run this with minimal minimal splashing minimal drips however um we have water still so uh my, my decision is oil or water i could run oil for the winter and run water in the summer which would be nice um on the floor there i have maybe well here i'll show you let me show you something real quick See those little drops right there on the floor? Doesn't look like much, but it's not going to evaporate in the winter time. And the issue is it will turn to an ice spot that will, I don't know, it's just going to be there. It's going to be there for a long time. The same thing with my bench top. There's a, a little bit of moisture right here on the front. Um, I do have some plastic. I'll probably put a plastic top on this, I think, at least in this little vicinity because this will be wet and when i flip it um to get it out of the way there will be some some drips the splash guard i i don't i don't know i mean it just it pops off it's just kind of you just stick it into the little tabs um i might make something just a little bit wider if it was like another half inch or inch wider on each side that'd be perfect i'll play around with that um Maybe this is the, the, the best way, but i um, very happy with it. Uh, I do have a discount code if you're interested in stuff from High Tech. It's uh, currently rock hounding, and you get 10% off. None of the machines, but all the other accessories and stuff, you get 10% off. They have all kinds of stuff. Go check them out. They're great, great folks over there, made in America. Anyways, um, I think that about wraps it up for this one. I appreciate everybody 
that watches the channel. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for more rock hounding and lapidary shop type videos. So catch you on the next one, everybody. Have a good day.